हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट हाउ आर यू ऑल आई थिंक एवरी वन आर फाइन दियर सो स्टूडेंट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगेन विद पोएम नंबर वन द एंड एंड द क्रिकेट विच इज टेकन फ्रॉम यस फ्रॉम एसोप्स फैब्ली सो वॉट डू यू मीन बाई द वर्ड फैब्ली फैब्ली इज अ बिग एक्सट्रैक्ट ऑफ अ शॉर्ट स्टोरीज एंड अ poem okay yes the fable is a big extract okay a big extract a big extract okay big extracts of poems short moral short moral stories so this short moral stories and a poem gives a definite meaning under this fable a fable is an extract extract means a group of paragraphs or a group of pages which contain a good moral stories is called here extract so this the ant and the cricket taken from Aesop's Fable. Understood? This is what we have to learn here today. Before beginning this poem, I would like to see what is there in the poem. So, student, how many of you seen the ant and how many of you seen the cricket? Yes, the cricket which is dark green in color, and it comes nearby to our home when it is too humidity, a temperate. climate after rain what happens the insects come outside of the homes because of the evaporation process the earth will heat itself and the evaporate will take place when the sun rays so these insects will come outside and the cricket is also one of them and they will gather nearby to our home and you might have seen and you will get the picture there in your textbook about the cricket side by side ants are so busy you can see ants each and every where they are working hard okay to preserve their food during the time of winter and a rainy season in this time they don't prefer to work they don't go outside they will eat and fill their stomach with what they have in their ration shop so this is what we are going to learn about the ant and the cricket and apart from this poem what we will learn we will learn a good moral lesson from this poem this poem says that here the ant are the very hard workers they were punctuals they were obedient they are intelligent and they are conservative in the sense of resources in the sense of food but if we see about the cricket cricket is always dependent on others he is like an independent class okay he is like an independent class which used to depend on the independent class here independent class we have the ant and the dependent class here we have an cricket and the cricket is always dependent on the ant throughout the day he enjoy he play he roam here and there he spend his time in a sphere and he don't believe in the word called mir utility the mir utility means a very useful so he don't think that in this universe anything is useful he think that every kind of thing is useless people are working here day and night for what purpose so they are useless people so he think that i am such a happy person i used to sing dance and enjoy each and every moment of my life and at the time of a very crucial days then he have to suffer a lot in the same manner in the class of yours there were many students who will work hard who show the decency who show the discipline who show their homework which is done on a time and get checked by their teacher within a given timing and at the exam they don't feel they don't think that something is going to be very difficult they take it as in a such a easy manner they read it they study it they score good marks and they will pass to another class 
with a good percentage but what about some students who think that on a day of the exam some days prior to it we are going to learn what the concept is their work is incomplete so at the day of the exam they feel so kind of difficulties there they don't have a notes they don't have a books they don't have a classwork notebook completed because it was incomplete so they don't have a resources to read so at the same time what happens they face too much of difficulties and they are totally bothered on the good students hey please do this needful for me because i am going to write exam with you so you shouldn't like that you will pass and i will fail in the same class so this student instead of neglecting them they show some pleasness they show some okay uh, that sympathy on them and they give them their notes in a form of xerox copy and they will take it and read and pass out with them if they say no we are not going to give you you have to depend on yourself i don't know from where you will bother why what you did on the day of the class when the teacher is teaching and you are making a very joy you are enjoying the class at the last benches why what happened at the same time here this question the question can be asked by the student yes or no but they show sympathy or uh, empathy towards you and they help you in this story what happens there is no sympathy there is no empathy and there is no pleasness towards the cricket the cricket go and join his hand in front of the ant please give something to eat otherwise i will die the ant uh, were said we the ant not meant for taking or not meant for giving we don't have the quality like giving or taking we are not have a quality of sharing so that's why we are meant for like us we are totally dependent on us we are not dependent on you we are not going to help you here and this the ant shows him a lesson a good lesson okay this is what we are going to learn today so student today we are going to begin with the ant and the cricket a very a good moral poem where you can going to learn a very good morality from this so let's begin without wasting a time and without further go and let's be started with a beautiful poem the ant and the cricket which is adapted from azop's family okay so student i would like to say everyone please open the page number 21 here you will get the ant and the cricket okay fine sure yes so i am reading here the first page the ant and the cricket you have a first paragraph which gives an introduction about this poem see a fable is a story yes as we discussed it is a short moral story fable okay often which animals has characters that conveys a moral this fable story conveys a good moral This poem about an ant and a cricket contains an idea of far-reaching significance which is as true of a four-legged cricket as of two-legged one surely you have seen a cricket that has two legs see here or in this poem the ant can be said here the four-legged cricket and another one is two-legged cricket okay so here in this poem we well study we will study on four leg cricket we will study on four leg cricket so this cricket is very dependable on this ants so might have you seen the cricket which looks like this you can see here on the page number 21 okay it looks like this and here if you see this picture here also you can see the cricket okay fine so a silly young cricket okay so here what you will see surely you have seen a cricket that has two legs with an exclamatory mark so it is an introduction introduction part of this poem in this poem they will tell about the ant and the cricket the cricket is about two leg okay and he is too dependable on the ants so student let's begin with the first stanza of this poem so we will discuss with first stanza of the poem so which is stanza number 1 
1 here stanza 1 we are going to discuss a silly young cricket comma a couple accustomed to sing through the warm sunny month of gay summer and spring began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and the winter was come so student what the stanza number one says to us a silly young cricket this cricket is young okay the characteristics of is silly silly means a lazy he is a lazy okay he is a drowsy lazy drowsy and he is young okay he is young a silly young cricket totally depended on others through the summer days he have enjoyed he have laughed he sang he danced and he never done anything which will help him to survive in the winter days whatever he will get he will eat and fill his stomach but he don't preserve it for the coming winter days through the warm sunny months of gay summer and spring the summer was a gay gay means a pleasant summer a good summer not so hotty began to complain when he found that at home his cupboard was empty and winter was come now what happened he start complaining hey i don't have anything here my whole cupboard was empty what can i do now shall i go somewhere to ask for a food or to lend a food from someone else or what can i do this question arises in the mind of the cricket because his cupboard was empty okay because his okay cupboard because his cupboard was empty that's why he start complaining about this fine so in the first stanza what you will learn the cricket was enjoying laughing dancing and he wasted his time in the uh, summer days okay in the pleasant summer days when the winter came he checked out his cupboard he found nothing there inside it so he complained about this now comes to the second stanza not a crumb to be found on the snow covered ground not a flower could he see not a leaf on a tree so in the winter days what happens everywhere it is too too deserted if it is a station of hill station of himalayas station of plateaus which is uh, nearby to the north antarctic continent then what happens each and everywhere you can see the snow and snow 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 and snow you will see the snow but not a piece of a thing to eat you will see only snow and the icebergs you will not see flower you will not see leaf anything which will give you a energy only you see white and white everywhere it seems that it is too white and you can't find any color different which you can see there in the hilly iceberg and a snow snowy place so here he don't have a crumb to be found so student note it down the meaning of the crumb the meaning of the crumb is a piece of eatery a piece of a piece of food or a eatable material you can see or a eatable thing a piece of a food or a eatable thing is called crumb okay you can't find anything to eat and fill your stomach then what he says ho oh, what will become says the cricket of me though there is nothing here in my cupboard and i went outside okay leaving my home then i see here and there there were nothing there were no flower no leaf nothing was there not a piece of the food then what will happen of me in this winter days so the, he is asking a question to himself so in the summer he enjoyed he laughed he danced and he laughed over the ants hey you ants you are useless why you are working in the summer days this summer pleasant days for the enjoyment you don't think you should come and enjoy with me and you are working here but the the thing what he did with him it is the only one which he teaches him a good lesson hey now you have okay what 
condition you have now you have nothing to eat and you are asking a question to yourself what will happen to me what can i eat in this winter days so student comes to the stanza number 2 now we will discuss about stanza number 2 yes here you will learn stanza stanza 2 at last by starvation and famine made bold the starvation and famine made bold all dripping with wet and all trembling with cold away he set off yes away he set off to a misery ant to see if to keep him alive he would grant yes then what happens due to starvation due to famine do you know do you know what is a starvation starvation would going to be take place when someone not eaten food when someone not drank water from couple of days then he will suffer from starvation starvation means uh, feeling so hungry feeling so disappointed feeling so ugly because of not eating food and what do you mean by famine famine means the person who will not get a food from too long many days and he will uh, remain as it is without eating food then he will suffer from the starvation and famine so here write down the meaning of starvation and famine and famine in your notebook okay these two words are the homeworks for you you have to write down its synonym okay or related meaning okay then what happens here see and all dripping with wet and it was after the summer the winter came in the winter then the water droplets were present uh, throughout the environment and he was feeling so cold his whole body was drenched hardly by the water then he was trembling yes he was trembling with cold then what happens he was his whole body was vibrating his whole body was shaking because of the cold then what happens how he set off to a misbelieving ant then one idea came towards his mind yes i can go and meet to the ant and i can ask hey you ant how are you i need something help from you though i have laughed over you during the summer months and you are the only you have to help me now so he used to say then what he says to the ant to see if to keep him alive you can the only one to keep me an alive him shelter from rain give me a shelter from rain and a mouthful of grain he wished only to borrow he would repay it tomorrow see in this stanza of the stanza number 2 you will find the rhyming words like rain grain borrow and tomorrow so these all are the rhyming words so you are the only one you can help me from this a very drastic situation where i don't have to eat anything you can give me a shelter in your home and you can give me a mouthful of grain to fill my stomach and i wished if i borrow from you and tomorrow i am going to give you back with what surety with what evidence this ants wants to give its food to the cricket if we eat today if we don't able to give it tomorrow then what is the situation of these ants what they will think about him is they going to fight with him no he is good in structure body structure and he is well heighted how can they fight with him so there were many reasons and these ants have different qualities they have different sense they don't believe on someone they are only believe on their own work and what this ant says if not he must die of starvation and sorrow at last he request and request he join his own hands in front of the ants please give me something to eat otherwise i will die from starvation and famine starvation means due to hunger starvation occurs and famine means it is a big, big pandemic or an epidemic or in hindi you can say a big akal understood due to the starvation and the famine i am going to die so student come back to the page number 22nd 
Here in the page number 22nd, you will learn. Says the ant to the cricket. Now, the cricket told each and everything what he feels in this summer days. Now, it is a turn of the ant. And the ant used to say to the cricket what he feels about him. Hey, you cricket, says the ant to the cricket. I am your servant and friend. I am your servant. I want to serve you and even I am a friend of you. Okay, very good. Then help me, the cricket says. But we ants never borrow, we ants never lend. But there is one policy in our dictionary. We ants don't borrow anything from others and we ants don't give anything to others. So this is a policy which we have to follow. We are a hard work, we are a punctual, we can work day and night but we don't give anything to others, we can't take anything from others because it is there in our policy. So in, through this policy, through this principle, I am not going to help you. Who says? And says to the cricket. Then, but tell me dear cricket, did you lay nothing by when the weather was warm? Cut the cricket, not I. So here the ant is telling, tell me the reason, the day when we are working, you laughed on us. You were motivating and inspiring and diverting our mind. Hey, come and sit with me and we will enjoy this pleasant climate at the same day. Why didn't you work? Why you laughed on us? Is it is your fault or ours fault? The cricket said, yes, you are right one. I didn't did anything at the that time. So that's, this is my condition now so he is accepting his guilt okay now in the last stanza of this poem my heart was so light that i sang day and night for all nature looked gay you sang sir you say then what cricket says in a such a good manner okay with a lot of enthusiasm i didn't did anything at the same time because my heart is so light my heart is a very happy heart I sing, I dance, I laughed, I enjoyed each and every time here and there. So that's why I didn't did anything in the summer days. So here, again in this small stanza of the stanza number, yes, stanza number four, you will find the rhyming words like light, night, day, say. Okay. Then what the ant says to him? Yes, at the same time you, you did each and every kind of activities, then go then says the ant and dance the winter away in the same manner what you did in the summer then go and enjoy this winter also sing dance scroll here and there laugh jump enjoy it in the same manner you can spend this time also how you have spent it your summer so the ant says that so student it is a very laughing one no? a very enjoyable so this is what the ant says here then thus ending he hastily lifted the wicket and out of the door turned the poor little cricket. Then what the ant did? Ant taken the wicket of the cricket, go back and enjoy your winter days. Flocks call this a fable, I will warrant it true. Some cricketers have four legs and some have two. Now the flocks. The ancestors, the tradition tell it's, it is a fable, a short story which gives a good moral. And from the dad day onwards, some crickets have four legs, some crickets have four legs and some have two. The crickets which have a four legs, they are very hard working like and. So here in the story, some crickets have four legs. So which poetic device it is, can anyone tell me? Here the ant can be signified in the sense of cricket with four legs then which poetic device yes it is a what it is it is a metaphor okay which gives a good meaning of the ant and some have two legs who don't used to do anything they want to sleep at all so student here we have completed the poem the ant and the cricket and it is adapted from Aesop's fabulous so student, on the page number 22, you have a glossary portion. So I need this glossary portion should be written in your notebook. Okay. And whatever here in this blackboard, zoom it, pause it and write it down as it is in your fair notebook and send me there in the WhatsApp. 
all right so the, with the help of this picture you can see how the ant and the cricket okay talking and conversing with each and every one and they are enjoying this uh, winter days and the ant taught a good lesson to the cricket go and enjoy your winter days how you enjoyed the summer days from this poem what morality did you learn that each and every time is a very precious and, and a gracious for us we should take a proper utilize of our time rather than wasting it okay if you waste the time then you are wasting your own energy and you are wasting your future days where you will, where you are going to feel a very difficult situation okay so don't be like that okay work hard in your studies work hard in your education have a good job have a good lifestyle okay earn too much of money earn too much of respect and give more uh, more and more in devotion and help and you will get all kind of okay good positive energy and this energy and this wealth can be well utilized when you will become old you can sit and eat whatever wish to wish for you understood this is all about here the poem the ant and the cricket which is adapted from as of family okay so this is all uh, all about the video today so student watch this video from the beginning till last okay and after watching make a proper notes and have a better meaning of it by watching once twice and thrice and have a good knowledge of it so student in the coming video we were going to discuss about the uh, working with the text or thinking about language and related to this i'm going to send you one scrolling video where you can pause and write the question answers in your fair notebook and get checked when the visiting squad will come to your home so student for the time being take care and have a nice day